Hello everyone. I am Dr. Fatima, a clinical pharmacologist, expert coach in pregnancy and parenting. Welcome to our channel 9 Mantras and thanks for being a part of our mission to educate million moms and moms to be. For those planning to conceive, understanding your ovulation cycle is absolutely crucial. But it can feel like cracking a secret code sometimes, right? It's actually simpler than what you think. Ovulation is when a mature egg is released from ovary ready to unite with the sperm. Typically, ovulation happens about 14 days before your next period for those with regular cycle, though the cycle length can vary. So, let's do the simple math with an example. First things first is to calculate your ovulation cycle. you need to understand the typical menstrual cycle pattern the menstrual cycle is the time from the first day of your one period to the first day of the next period the average cycle length is 28 days but this can vary from person to person and cycle to cycle i have already mentioned the ovulation day is typically around 14 days before the start of the next period Here is how you can calculate your ovulation cycle in three simple steps. Determine the length of your menstrual cycle. Keep track of the number of days between the first day of your last period and the first day of your next period. This will give you the length of your cycle. Now, subtract 14 days from the length of your cycle. For example, if your cycle is 28 days, subtract 14 days from 28 days this will give you 14 the result is the day of your cycle when ovulation is most likely to happen in the example above ovulation is likely to occur on day 14 of your cycle so let me make this simple let's calculate the approximate dates of your ovulation consider the following example with dates suppose your last period date is on may 1 and your typical cycle length is of some 30 days first step is determine the length of your cycle in this case it is 30 day cycle step 2 subtract 14 days from the cycle length 30 days minus 14 days that is 16 step 3 the result is 16 this indicates that ovulation is likely to happen around 16th day of your cycle To find the approximate date of ovulation, count ahead 16 days from the first day of your last period, that is May 1st. Day 1 is May 1st. Day 16 is May 16th. Therefore, in this example, you are most likely to ovulate on or around May 16th. Isn't it too much math to calculate ovulation? And it confuses you, right? Detecting ovulation can feel like a mystery. but there are some helpful signs as well many women experience mild cramps in the lower abdomen during ovulation you may notice an increased clear stretchy egg white like cervical mucus some women even report slight raise in the basal body temperature ovulation predictor kits that test your urine for luteinizing hormone surges are another useful tool now if the fertilization is successful then the fertilized egg travels to the uterus and implants onto the lining of the uterus over the next 6 to 12 days this is the point where the pregnancy can be detected by taking a pregnancy test these tests detect the presence of hcg hormone which is produced during the pregnancy However, it is important to understand that taking pregnancy tests too early after a missed period can potentially lead to a false or a negative result before HCG had its time to build to a detectable levels. Try to wait and test until you have actually missed your period for the most accurate results. If you got a negative result after missing the period, don't lose hope. There are cases where it may be still too early or you have miscalculated your cycle dates. Wait for few more days and test again with your first urine sample for a reliable result. 
The conception journey can be an absolutely emotional roller coaster filled with mm. hope, disappointment and confusion at times. Be patient with yourself and your body. If you have been trying over your under 35 or 6 months, if you are over 35, don't hesitate to speak to your doctor. No matter where you are in this journey, just be kind and compassionate with yourself. Trying to conceive can take an emotional toll. But remember you're not alone in this journey. Lean on your partner, friends and family when you need them. The path to pregnancy is unique for every couple filled with ups and downs. Have faith that your time will come and try to stay positive throughout the disappointments. Take it one cycle at a time and don't lose hope. If you are struggling with feeling of sadness, anger or anxiety about conceiving, know that it's okay not to be okay at times this process can be all consuming so make sure to take breaks pamper yourself and celebrate the non parenting parts of your life as well wherever this journey leads you have shown incredible strength patience and perseverance already be proud of how far you have come if you need a break there is no shame in that put yourself for some time before we end this i would like to answer a few questions on this topic first one i don't see any pain and i'm not sure if i'm ovulating see every person is different and it's not mandatory that you have to feel the pain all the time every cycle some may feel some may not feel that pain during ovulation second question when to carry out ovulation test ideally 24 to 36 hours before the ovulation or 17 days before the next expected period it's very important that ovulation test should be done during midday so here lh is checked and the best time to carry out is midday now the last question what if i get a negative pregnancy result take another chance repeat after a week if you are still suspecting speak to your doctor for irregular periods or if you are having lengthy periods and it's very important that you speak to your doctor because your doctor can further examine you and can prescribe you certain medications for withdrawal bleeding to address the actual issue so there is nothing wrong in taking a chance eat healthy reduce stress stay fit and happy I know how disheartening it can be to see a negative result but you have to keep believing that your baby is already out there waiting to be brought into this world by you just have faith and your rainbow will come when it is time thank you for tuning in if you found this video helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up share with your friends and family who would require this information subscribe to our channel for more such tips and advices remember your support helps us create more content like this and if you still have any doubts about ovulation do not hesitate to post in the comment section i'll try to answer my best to clear all your doubts in the best way possible Stay healthy and take care.